I've got a cheap multifunction welder that does stick, MIG and uh, TIG. And because it's a home hobbyist type welder, they normally come with these really small gas bottles, size of a soda stream bottle, really small. And you use them up really quickly and then throw them away. And I noticed that our local Bunnings in Australia, they sell these half size gas bottles now. So I've been using those. The problem is I hadn't really got a stand for it. And I was tripping over it almost and couldn't move it around. And the, the gas bottles were sort of, you know, a bit dangerous in that they were just standing upright and they'd easily fall over. I made the decision to to look at getting a uh, welding, proper welding trolley. Um, I was going to design one my, myself, but then I noticed online you can buy uh, pre-made small welding trolleys that can carry the bottles and the welder. I thought at first maybe it'd be cheaper to build one myself out of steel. When I did the calculations, it would cost me three times as more to buy the material and do it myself versus buying one off the shelf. So this video is just basically looking at how well a off the shelf welding trolley is. And if anything, I need to do to modify it to suit my needs. Now the question is, will it take the gas bottles? There's one. So it says it takes handy size gas bottles. I think these are called handy size bottles. Certainly doesn't fit. I'll probably take a full size one. I don't need a full size one in my uh, workshop. I like the smaller size just because I haven't got much space and I don't do that much welding. So that means we're going to have to mod this. <laughs> um, it's brand new and we're going to have to mod it. So probably I'll just pack up the bottom somehow and um, we'll have to look into some sort of way to ensure that they don't um, you know fall out of the back it's a pain i just need to mess come up with an idea of how to securely um, locate the bottom of the bottles um, and then the chain will go around the um, the bottles like normal so these are the chains obviously they just locate in there and then wrap around uh, Anyway, I'll probably look at doing something where it can just sit side by side like that, but obviously, so it's not hitting the wheels. Yeah, oh well, we'll have a think about this and come back. Well, the um, new bracket I made up for the back where the gas bottles are going to go. I've just put it on the welder how it's supposed to go on. It's like sits on the top like that. And then you've got these bottom shelves here, I suppose, for putting your welding mask um, and other bits and bobs like um, wire brushes, etc. The only thing is I want to be able to put two welders on here because this does MIG, TIG and stick. But the MIG on this, uh, sorry, the TIG on this only does steel um, because it's a DC only option. We need AC for aluminium TIG. So I'm going to have to invest in a, another dedicated unit just to be able to weld aluminium. So what I'm thinking of doing is we'll put two, two devices on here. This current one, the Boss Weld multifunction device. I'm going to see if I can fit it in the bottom here. Uh, there's enough height in here, except for this lip along the front here. That's only been folded up. And I reckon I could, we could just bend that forward so it sticks out like a lip. It should uh, fit straight in. The only problem is this uh, steel support here um, will block the ability to open up the, um, the side of the unit to change wires etc 
Um, I suppose I could lift it out every time I want to do that, but I'm thinking maybe of just cutting cutting this and putting in a new support that uh, goes straight down. Um, yeah, so that's an option. Anyway, I'll have a play with it and see if it uh, if it's going to work. So I've got the welder now to fit underneath, which is good. So I just fold, folded the front edge of this tray down flat. So this can sit in there nicely. Uh, the only problem is I want to be able to access the side panel. So I've just cut this section out. Um, so then that means I can then open this up to to change the wire and, f and if I get a bird's nest or anything, sort this out quickly. Uh, obviously removing this makes it weak, uh, saggy, especially if I put a, another unit on the top. So what I've done is, you'll see in a minute, I've just fabricated up a new bracket which comes around here which supports this corner of the of the of the tray. Also I've I've just cut a section out the back here to allow for the power cable and the um, gas pipe um, to come out the back nicely and there's plenty of room and I've made sure that the this isn't sharp so it doesn't chafe. But I'll probably get a piece of um, plastic channel just to run around this uh, edge uh, to make sure it doesn't, uh, if it does rub, it doesn't cut into the, the plastic to be on the safe side. Also, this is now finished, little tray to hold the um, gas bottles. It's uh, built like the Titanic, <laughs> but this is the only scrap I had that was sort of suitable. So it's overkill, but at least it's safe and strong. So I'll put that in the back of the tray, mount the gas bottles. Yeah, so I can now easily reach the gas bottles. And they're pretty stable in there. I was, I'm going to, that's the next job. I've got to just put the chain in here so it stops them potentially tipping over. But the best thing is now I can see the gauges from the front and turn these off. And if I want to, I can swap swap the um, the gas over. So obviously, this tank is pure argon for aluminium welding. And this is a mixture of, I think, uh, the normal one you use for MIG, etc., which is uh, mainly carbon dioxide, which is ideal for steel, etc. Yeah, like I say, you can. I've done a little bit of MIG welding with aluminium. It's a bit, um, it's not great. So, like I say, eventually I'd like to buy a AC TIG welder, and that can sit on the top here, uh, set up purely for TIG welding and then the bottom I can use for heavy duty steel like uh, for uh, MIG and um, a stick. So yeah, it's, so you always want to be able to quickly use something rather than unscrew all the fittings and put on the TIG fittings and then when you want to use MIG you unscrew it all and put it all back together. So I'll probably have another, this will directly connect just to the TIG because that will be for mainly aluminium eventually. Anyway, it's a lot of flaff. Um, the last thing I've got to do is uh, just put this bracket in and I'll show you that in a minute. But it's just the paint's drying on it. As once it's dry, I'll fit that in. Is it worth buying something like this and then retrofitting? I think so. Uh, just the cost of the steel and all the fabrication. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain to, to, to knock this up and change all this bracketry, but overall it's quicker and cheaper to buy something and then retrofit and try and build something from scratch. It's nice and compact, it's nice and narrow and the whole thing I want to do is have it a little bit mobile uh, but have it all into one area because the gas bottles were just freestanding and I was tripping over them and they're dangerous if they're not properly secure and this will sit next to the bench here where I do mainly all my welding away from the machines and it will sit down here 
where this has also been tripping me up this is the this plastic sheet covers up a small mini mill and that's the next project set the mini mill up because it's been sitting there for over 12 months doing nothing another job and the chain just fits So I've made up a bracket and I'm just putting a, a rib nut in here. So I've just made up a, a simple bracket out of some old uh, steel. Again, I think this was from a, a clothesline, an old clothesline. So it's good, always good to keep scrap metal around your house. Gave it a quick coat of paint and um, we'll put it on the, on the trolley. So yeah, I've just put in um, like a, a cap at the end and just tapped the end so I can uh, put a bolt in the, each end. Okay, so that's it. So it means I can now still get in in the side here and change the wire, etc. Uh, but I can still put a lot of weight on that now. It's not going to go anywhere. Keep the rigidity. So I think I'll put a bit of a, bit of a flat. We're good to good to go now. I think. Awesome. Lock, lock the wheel. Perfect.